Hi everyone, this is Professor Christina Sover from Cal State Long Beach, and in this video we're going to be answering the question, what is the odometer method? In order to approach the odometer method, we're going to look at this example where we have the probability of getting exactly two heads when tossing the same coin three times. Before we get into that example, I want us to think about the odometer in your car. My CRV currently has 183,713 miles on it. These first digits to the left, all of those are going to be fixed. While this last digit on the right here, as the more times I drive, this right digit is going to be increasing or changing and it moves. And as it goes more, more digits on the right hand side are going to be changing around. That's essentially the odometer method for getting all of the possible outcomes for an example. So let's think about this example now getting exactly two heads when tossing the same coin three times. If we get a heads first, we would get an H in the first spot, and we're not sure what happens in the second or third spot. In the second spot, we could get a heads, and we get elements that look like H, H. In that last spot, we could get a heads or a tail, so we can get H, 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 which stands for heads, 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 or we could get H, H, T, which stands for heads, heads, tails. Now, we don't have to get heads in the second space. We could, again, get heads in the first spot. But in the second spot, we could get heads and then tails followed by something. And similarly, we can get heads, tails, heads. Or we can get heads, tails, tails. In that third spot, we can get tails or heads. And this was all if we got heads first. We could also get tails first and similarly get tails second or head second, I'm sorry, and that would give us tails, heads, heads, or tails, heads, tails, like you see just above. Or with tails first, we could get tails second. See how we're just switching the items on the right-hand side to get tails, tails, heads, or tails, tails, tails. Again, going to this, let's color coordinate. So we could get heads first, and that's the last most value. Once we have that heads, that stays the same in all of these options over here. Then what could happen second is we could get head second and that stayed constant here with the only changes happening in the third spot, heads or tails. And those are the last ones changing, but everything to the left was fixed. Similarly, when we had heads first, we had a fixed tails second once that was decided, followed by just the rightmost value heads or tails being shifted. So once you fix a position, you move on to the rightmost value and see what you can get through. And the same color coordinating idea happens with tails first. You could then get heads second or tails second. And once that last choice is made, you can get either one, heads or tails. So again, by fixing the first spot and running through the second, running through the third, you follow the same idea as an odometer. Instead of digits this time, we have letters representing heads and tails, H for heads, T for tails. So your entire possible outcomes, your total possible outcomes, just to clarify what we have here is heads, 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 tails, heads, tails, Heads, heads, tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, 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 heads, and then all three tails. If we want to go back and answer that question of getting, was it two heads when you toss the same coin three times, exactly two heads, we could just go through and circle the values that give us exactly two heads. So here's one of them, heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, tails, heads. And do you see any more? No, I have heads, heads, heads. That's three tails, not exactly two. Heads, tails, tails is two tails, not two heads. And then the rest have two tails or three tails. So we have the three that we want in the numerator, the favorable outcomes, just a reminder of notation, the probability over the total of eight possible outcomes. Our total possible outcomes is eight. And so the answer for getting exactly two heads when you flip a coin three times is three eighths.